Hey everyone, welcome back to Homegrown Passion. Well, it's Friday evening and I didn't get a video done. We took some time off this week and went up to Toledo. The first place that we went to was the National Museum of the Great Lakes. It talks about all the different freighters and the boats that were on the Great Lakes for all the years from the 1800s till present time. And it's so cool there, they actually have a freighter that was launched in 1911, the James Schumacher. It was so cool, we got to tour the whole ship. We got to go down in the galleys where the crews stayed, got to go down the engine room, and then we got to go in the front part of the ship, which is really decked out where the captain stayed and the owners of the shipping line stayed. And they had their own dining rooms and observation areas. It was really cool to see that. After we did the uh, ship, we were able to go to a tugboat. Never been on a tugboat before. Never been on a freighter either. But it was really cool to see a tugboat. They're so small and compact, and they're able to pull those big ships around. And they still have a galley and cruise corps. It was really cool to see that. The museum had so many different artifacts and so much history about the Great Lakes. You know, growing up here in Ohio, right around Lake Erie, it was so cool to see all that information. So after we got done touring the Great Lakes Museum, we went down to Tony Paco's, which is only a mile and a half away there in Toledo. And if you watch MASH, you know that Clear always talked about Tony Paco hot dogs. So we had to go check it out. Walked in, it was pretty cool coming in there because they have all these hot dog buns that have been signed by all kinds of famous people. They must have thousands of them up on the wall. And from what they said in their little uh, menu, that five presidents have been there and signed the um, hot dog buns. And Burt Reynolds was the first one to do it. Somebody asked him for his autograph and he signed the hot dog bun. So he said, oh, let's go check it out. We all, sorry to say, I was not impressed. The hot dogs were okay. The price was really high, but you know, the hot dogs that I make myself, because you guys know I always make my own sausage and my own meat and my uh, sausage and beef and all that kind of different things. The mine are so much better. I was really disappointed in the price and the quantity of food because I got the platter, the hot dog platter with two hot dogs, a thing of chili, which wasn't even cup, and German potato salad. It was so small and just very disappointing. But it was cool going in there and seeing all the different hot dog buns all signed by all the famous people. So this coming up week, I want to take videos of putting the new sidewall up on the greenhouse that we have replaced yet. It's been kind of flapping in the wind a little bit, so I need to get that replaced. And putting down the white ground cover underneath all the NFT channels to keep the heat reduced. So stay tuned and see all the things that we're going to be doing in the greenhouse. I hope you guys aren't mad that I wasn't able to get a full length video up this week, but it felt really good to take some time off. And like I said, I'm gonna do a video on replacing the sidewall of the plastic on the creek side of the greenhouse and get the ground cover underneath the NFT channels to help reduce the heat. So I think I'm gonna end my little short, tiny video here. And like always, leave me any questions, comments, and suggestions down below, and we'll see you guys next time.